Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking in. How are you doing? I hope this video meets you well. My name is Mecca. If this is the first time clicking in, I live in the south of England. I grow most of my vegetables and my journey to natural organic changes actually started with my own story. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue sy syndrome. I suffered for years even without a diagnosis. And then when I got the diagnosis, I didn't still get any solution. I had to start learning how to change my lifestyle. And one of the things I did was obviously changing what I eat. So yes, this is not clickbait. This salad actually does cure all chronic conditions. Obviously not on its own. You have to incorporate other practices to help. But this salad is one key thing you need to add into your lifestyle to improve your health. So we start with the ingredients, shall we? We've got some obviously common ones, obviously bell peppers, I've got French runner beans. If it's not your thing, you don't have to, but I grow vegetables, so I have them in abundance. I've got some broccoli sprouts here. I've got some of these. These are bolted cauliflowers. They're just cauliflowers that are going to seed, so the flowers. Now, our big boys, okay? Here we have Swiss chard. We have, these are called radicho or chicroy. There are two varieties I have here. Um, because I grow my own as well, I use them, but they are bitter greens. Now, if you can try your best to get hold of chicory, this is what it would look like when it's a bulb. I'm just picking the outer leaves. It's really, really good for liver detoxification and its nutrient profile is also high. Salads are really nutrient dense when you add nutrient dense food if that makes sense if you go ahead and just add things that are not so nutrient dense then you are compromising the nutrients you know the profile of that salad now we have some rockets or aragula okay wild rockets um i have some mints just because i have it in season to be honest i do a lot of things seasonal but the basic things i add are things like your brassicas so these are collets. They're like in the kale family. These are just like kale. So if you have kale, that's fine. These are collets. Um, these are your broccoli. You need that as well. Those are your brassicas. And then you can add a few cucumber slices here. Um, cabbage. I actually prefer purple cabbage. I don't have it in season. So I've just got the normal sweetheart cabbage. Um, what else do I add now? The things that are bringing the salad up, taking it up a notch, uh, you would guess right, my sprouts. So I have broccoli sprouts or microgreens and I have my mixture three sprouts. So I always do the same sprout. I do radish, I do fenugreek seeds and I also do mung beans. That's just the three basic sprouts I grow. I have a video. I'll try and put a link down to show you how I sprout them. It's really easy and it's cheaper than actually buying them in the shops. Now I love pomegranates i love adding them to my salad this is the only fruit i really love always having in my salad so a bit of sweetness there okay um i just got a few oregano flowers they're so pretty so i thought i'll add those and then carrots of course and some olives and a bit of pumpkin seed toasted pumpkin seed just a bit of protein you can also use chickpeas toasted chickpeas or sprouted try and sprout them if you can and some cashews what else yeah this is just the basics so let's go ahead and prep this ingredients now i am one of those people that years ago i used to buy salad with a good intention of eating it and end up chucking it in the bin the easiest thing to do with your salads to prevent that is to make it delicious and this is what i'm going to show you how to do healthy and delicious and super healing okay so we have to chop these things up i love them in smaller sizes because i have little kids as well so the sizes of my salad really matters because the smaller they are, the easier they are to just scoop and eat and enjoy. And yeah, it's easier to just chew a small piece of lettuce than a huge piece, don't you think? So I will go ahead. If you have a food processor and you want to use a food processor, that's fine. But I normally do it manually or I use a mandolin slicer or with the carrots, like a spiritizer. Whatever you have to prep your vegetables is absolutely fine. When it comes to salads, the presentation really matters because I remember back in the day when I used to go ahead and buy salads in the shops. 
if it looks really pretty, it will attract me. Obviously, things pretty and colorful attract us. So this is how I'm presenting mine today, okay? Another thing to remind you about, you know, we all know we need to eat our vegetables. Everyone knows that. We need to eat more vegetables. We need to eat more salads. But not many people are. Apparently, research and science is telling us now that the biggest disease a lot of people are suffering from is a lack of fiber. Yes, I juice. I love juicing. And juicing is one quick and easy way to heal your gut because it helps your gut absorb those nutrients in easiest form but you need fiber okay you do need fiber so yes we strip the, the vegetables and we juice and we drink but we need a bit of fiber and that's why i do smoothies that's why i also do salads now just imagine your fiber like a sponge okay let's say your your gut lining your whole gi tract and your intestines i've got mucus plug and we always have we produce mucus that's natural sometimes it's in excess and then toxin builds up how do we clean it we need a little sponge that's where this fiber comes in it just goes in and it scrapes and it mops up all that muck and helps direct it out of the body and that's what your fiber does do you know how many grams of fiber you require a day apparently you need about 50 grams okay there are apps that can help you track your fiber intake it's really important even people that say they're vegans right how many people eat this much salad in a sitting let's be honest with you because if you do then you're doing amazingly well i don't do this all the time obviously when i was healing it was a priority i have to maintain that healing that's why i do this so i've tried to chop my kill yes i eat the kill the stalks and everything so so long as it's tender okay um oh i didn't add this i have celery as well um these are obviously my own grown so they're different from the celery you buy in the shop um so i'm just gonna ch chop them into tiny little bits so this talk about fiber is so important young people are eating meals devoid of fiber just try if you can get one of those tracker apps i haven't actually ever used it but because i try to ensure we have a lot of you know nutrient dense whole foods but if you if you if you're questioning you know oh i'm not sure if i have enough fiber go ahead and get one of those apps and track your fiber intake just give it a track for let's say a week and eat like you'd normally eat and then find out if you have enough fiber in your diet if your diet isn't devoid of fiber okay so fiber isn't anything but then the quality also matters yes we do need some grains we do need some pulses but a lot of people are becoming increasingly allergic and i for one was allergic to pretty much everything at one point yes i couldn't tolerate so many things and even till now i have to manage what i eat some things like rice all the time can create sensitivities gluten i don't even take anymore because as you get older as well you become a bit more sensitive they've had tests and they said oh i wasn't gluten intolerant and whatnot but i know how i respond when i take gluten so i've just taken it out of my diet so if you if you are finding some foods are giving you some symptoms then you need to try and increase these vegetables okay i do understand some people could also be allergic to a lot of these vegetables but start little and that's why juicing is so important because juicing helps bridge the gap I, i'm speaking too fast am i <laughs> juicing helps to bridge the gap and help you you know heal so that you can tolerate these things guys this salad is looking is going up more serious now now these are our bitter greens these are chicory they are bitter but they also help your liver in the detoxification process um finally i'll have my french beans i'm not sure i want to add a cucumber to this i think i'm happy with this what do you think i'm not gonna add a cucumber today cucumber is more it's more liquid it gives you more than anything really so i won't bother and i won't be doing that today um because I've got enough brassicas. This is what I mean. Like, not many of us will eat this much salad in a sitting. And we do need the salad. So, dressings. When it comes to salad dressing. Okay, let's talk about this. It's very important. I've got a couple of videos, I believe, on dressings. On a Thousand Island dressing. And if you, ha if you have any more questions, just let me know. You know, salad dressings don't have to be too complicated. These are the French beans. I'm just gonna sprinkle it there they don't have to be too complicated guys they just 
need to be basically some acid okay some oil and then you can sweeten it as well so today's salad dressing i will be using and now this is one of the important things i added to my diet okay it's fire cider i made this and actually at some point i sold it but i stopped because people get confused not because i don't want to sell but people want one thing that will fix all their problems and this fire cider is not a one one solution to all your problems if the food is the actual medicine this has got garlic ginger horseradish so many beautiful ingredients if you have never tried fire cider google it if you really are interested in learning how to make it, i can make a video about it but this is one i have it's got elderberries in there we know how elderberries are so good for the immune system and so i just use one dressing simple for my healing salad okay a bit of that and then we have our oil so we've got our acid now you can just use simple olive oil or flax oil okay whichever one some omega-3s in the flax are good and also your you, you need your antioxidants but then olive oil is also really really good so obviously in moderation you see how little is drizzling there it's not like you're pouring a whole tub of oil finally i will be adding my olives i love olives guys olives are so healing okay and they're really really delicious as well so if you if you enjoy olives go ahead and just add them into your salad what else should we add of course we need to add these babies pomegranates i love pomegranates now i'm um, trying not to put too much sweet stuff in this healing salad okay we're giving our gut the fiber it needs and we're also ensuring that our liver has the enzymes to help break it down and to heal our bodies. Now, if you want some seed, you can just go ahead and sprinkle some of these in here. And voila, how do they say it? <laughs> voila, look at that. This is so beautiful. This is so delicious and this is healing. So look at the huge bowl yes it's a huge bowl and this salad can potentially heal you if you consistently eat it okay and also eliminate the other triggers so you can't be eating salad and go ahead and have a milkshake and have some donuts and burgers and whatnot that's just wasting your whole time to be honest i, I don't think it's going to be profitable doing this and doing that so obviously eliminating those things and finding substitutes and that's why my channel is called changes guys because these are the substitutes i found to to give me joy <laughs> because <laughs> you know what a boring life as well just living on salads and nothing else and obviously the raw food that is really good but then not everyone can stand it and so these are the things i have done okay to help me heal help me stay strong and i know if you incorporate it into your lifestyle you will see good results so thank you so much if you've watched this end who's gonna clean this mess now myself so thank you so much if you have watched to this point guys please kindly consider clicking the subscribe button if you haven't yet and like this video if you haven't as well just click the like button it's not going to cost you anything have you enjoyed this video do you have any questions now if you think this is boring i'm gonna show you how to make the salad a little bit less boring and a little bit naughty but still heavy and nutritious do you want to know just click the like and click the subscribe and I'll show you right away. <laughs> Are you still waiting? You want to see the more less boring salad dressing or salad, right? So this is not what I would recommend all the time, but if you're transitioning, okay, and you're struggling to have just cold foods or it's the winter and you want something warm, you can have something warm, okay? I don't recommend animal protein, especially if you're healing, but if you're already healed and you're just maintaining your health and or trying to lose weight, because that's a big thing. A lot of people focus on the weight, which I don't focus on because weight is not the reason, you know, you, there's, you need to address what's causing, but that's by the way. Actually, once upon a time, I weighed about 105 kilos. If you like to know how I lost that weight, stay tuned. One of these days I will show you. Okay, so what we do, some mushrooms. Guys, I grilled some mushrooms on my skillet. These are so delicious and crunchy. I just use some ghee, okay? I just use clarified butter. You can just use olive oil if you're completely plant-based. Have some mushrooms and then let me show you another secret. Now, these things, do you know what they are? 
these are called plantain chips okay i made these myself because sometimes there is so many trans fats to fry them they are deep fried okay but they're like crotons so if you if you're used to having the crunch of crotons but you can't because obviously they're gluten they do have gluten-free ones but i don't really like them try plantain chips in your salad yes they are delicious and once in a while okay i don't even like using this but sometimes i end up using some vegan age dressing okay i'm not recommending this brand it's a vegan it's a dairy free and it's an expellent the, the ingredients are clean okay i don't believe in all this clean and non-clean but these ingredients are not like one million things and i'll read them to you it's got some expellent pressed rapeseed oil not canola obviously not the gmo filtered water brown rice syrup apple cider vinegar some soy protein which is a bit uh, but that one's there sea salt mustard and some lemon juice okay so it's literally few ingredients and once in a while i don't even like it i personally I only use it sometimes in a, as a dip so it stays in my fridge for forever the only thing i love doing is actually making my own dressing or using some tahini or some um, hummus for my salad so there you go you can make this salad a little bit naughty like i've shown you and still enjoy it and still heal and still lose weight but most importantly eat your vegetables guys okay get the fiber into your gut and heal your gut and be happy thank you thank you if you've watched till this point i hope you got some value out of this video i really hope that whenever i bring a video out is to help someone give someone like show you there's light at the end of the tunnel because when i suffered i did not see any light yes I, I struggled and it was almost as though where was the end to this but today i'm smiling i'm making videos i'm showing you guys how to do this so it's possible there is light at the end of the tunnel just hang in there okay thank you once again and please i will see you in another video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't Bye bye